Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> my mic was on mute. But before I start the video, I just want to go ahead and give a thanks to everybody that came to the Pokemon Showdown live stream. Um, we had a tournament, and the winner of the tournament was Shadow MC. What was it? Shadow Maniac MC. I can't remember. But anyways, shout out to the three winners. The other winner was Captain Sherp, and then number three was. Let me check my Skype. Um, Prodigy HD, um, also known as Uranus is infected. <laughs> but anyways, um, the video should be up on my channel sometime later, or if not before this, it'll probably be up the same day or sometime near this video. But anyways, three, two, one, intro, go. Alright, so I'm just going to be referencing a video that was uploaded earlier today. Um, this isn't really a news article, this is just more of an opinionated um, video today. So my opinion for today is, or what I'm wondering is, the Wii U Fall Update. What do you guys want to see in the Wii U Fall Update? There are a couple of things I'm going to talk about in this video that I would personally love to see within the update, but I want to go ahead and ref um, give a shout out to AZ Hood um, 321 this I'm going to be referring to his video on this first topic. So the first topic is that there have been some spoilers or some leaks of backgrounds for the for Splinter Cell Blacklist on Ubisoft's websites. And within those, it had also said some um, backgrounds for Wii U. So does this mean that we could be making customizable backgrounds on the Wii U? We don't know because there's been no confirmation, but maybe this is something that Nintendo is holding out until the fall update. Um, this is, remember, these are just my opinions. We don't know for sure. Um, like I said, leave your opinions in the comments below. I want to know what you guys want to see in the fall update. The next thing that I would love to see in the fall update is achievements. Now, if you guys do, or if you don't know, Nintendo does not have achievements on the Wii U. Instead, if you have achievements, they're in-game achievements. I would personally like to see out-of-game achievements. For example, if you guys remember 2K12, when you were playing, I think... You had to score like 48 points with Kevin Durant to break his scoring record or something like that. I like to see some achievements like that outside of the game. Maybe they can earn you stuff on the Wii U. Maybe you'll be able to customize your Mii with different things. Now, the 3DS update, or the next 3DS update, will be bringing Miiverse to the 3DS. So, from the Wii U to the 3DS, so it'll still be on the Wii U, but it'll also be on the 3DS, so personally, I can't wait till that. Another thing that will be starting on the 3DS is that, is this little, it's like this little spot pass chain, where basically, one person, say you're going into, um, McDonald's, and you have a Nintendo Zone, which are basically wireless hotspots for the 3DS. So... I'm in mid-editing here. Also forgot to say that the 3DS will be getting rid of friend codes and will now be switching to the user ID setting. Just like in the Wii U where you have your Nintendo Network ID, that is how the 3DS will now be as the new update comes in the fall for the 3DS. You walk into a Nintendo zone and you leave. The person behind you gets your information, and when that person leaves, the person behind them also gets their information. So it's like you're getting two people's information within one trip, and you don't even have to be there at the same time. Which could widen my Mii Plaza a bunch load. But as for you guys, I'm not sure how that will plan out for um, you. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below on that. And I don't really have a lot that I would like to see on the Wii update i would really love to see a faster processing speed not as if like um not as in hardware changes but maybe an update because even with the update i don't feel as if my wii U really got any faster i would hope that maybe they make demos unlimited for the next update because i'm sick of how nintendo has these limited amount of times that you can play a demo it honestly makes no sense to me because yes they want you to buy the full game at some point but you know, it's not doing any harm to let people play the demo. If they like the game, they're not just going to keep staying with the demo. They will eventually go out and buy the game. Now, I was enjoying FIFA 13, but because I don't have the money to go out and buy FIFA 13 right now, I was just, I was really enjoying the demo. 
since I was just gonna keep playing the demo. And maybe they'll add more demos to the Wii U library, who knows? Personally, I would love to have something like the Best Buy Experience demos on the Wii U. Personally, I think the Wii U is lacking demos right now, and so a lot of people aren't really telling their friends to get one. Ah, my friends are still sticking with the 360, and you know, the fanboys out there are sticking with the PS4 and Xbox One. Not a lot of people with the Xbox One, but that is a different topic. I, I, I think that the Xbox One is not as much of a disadvantage as you people think. But uh, That is a different topic for a different video. But what do you guys really want to see in the fall update on the Wii U? So my things were achievements, faster loading times, uh, backgrounds, customizable backgrounds, customizable menus for that matter. Maybe you'll be able to run... Uh, who knows, maybe they'll add GameCube games to the eShop. That's one thing that I really do want to see. Because if you're not going to let us play GameCube games, they they should at least let you be able to download them from the eShop again. Now, the last thing I want to touch up on is if you've noticed that there is a hidden port, or not hid, hidden, I'm sorry, but there is a mysterious port on the bottom of the Nintendo Wii U gamepad. And... The manual for the game, or for the Wii U, says that it is for um, accessories. So, the thing is, we don't really have any accessories for the Wii U out. And the charging cradle doesn't fit for it, the stand doesn't fit for it. So, I would have to take a guess. The one thing that we are pretty sure that it properly fits for is the Wii U Zapper. I'll have a picture of it up on screen. It's basically like the Wii Zapper and stage you have the Wii U there. I wonder how secure that will be, but you know, that's just my question. Other than that, what I would really like to see at that port, I would like to see where maybe there's a cable for you to connect your 3DS to your Wii U and play 3DS and DS games. If you guys remember with the SNES, you were able to play Game Boy games on your SNES. On the GameCube, you were able to play Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color games on, or the original Game Boy games, on the GameCube. So what I'm going to think is that maybe they will carry that tradition over. And I can understand why they didn't do it for the Wii because they had backwards compatibility anyways. But since there is only backwards compatibility with the Wii and people miss their GameCube, I would truthfully like to see either, you know, I want to see some 3DS connected to the Wii U in some sort so I can play my 3DS games. Imagine playing Pokemon X and Y or Animal Crossing on a big screen. That would be amazing. I would love to play Shin Megami Tensei on a big screen. And, you know, that's just my opinion. So what do you guys want to see in the next update for the Wii U? Go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Maybe Nintendo will listen to the community if we get enough views on this video. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment. Um, also, shout out to remember those three people that won the um, Pokemon Showdown tourney. I will hold those. I will hold um, challenge live streams on Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. And that is just where I accept random challenges from anybody. Then on Monday at 3 o'clock p.m. I will live stream tournaments. So that's all I just want to go ahead and say. So I will see you guys later. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Deuces!